What's up guys, my name is DKD and welcome you to another video of League of Legends Teamfight Tactics. Before we continue, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe and click the notification bell so that you are alerted once I make a new upload. Uh, we are playing TFT ranked, right now I'm uh, currently in Silver 3 I think. And maybe I'll need 2 or 3 more wins in order to get the gold. Uh, we got a Twisted Fate start with a Recurve Ball. Uh, let's see what items we can build. So the last game I played, I tried going for Space Pirates, but there were uh, three people in the same lobby who were going Space Pirates, so this made my task uh, quite impossible. Let's see. So we got one item, a needlessly large rod, which could be great for Gwynso's Rage Blade if we go for something like Blade Masters or Blasters. Uh, the thing that we got is two Fioras. So maybe we can play Fiora for now. And if we get gold from this round, maybe I can take the, the other Twisted Fate and also the Zix or Caitlyn. I'm not quite sure what exactly I want to build. Right now we are just looking for pairs so that we can get a level 2 character fast. Because I think that level 2 characters, especially in the beginning, in the first couple of rounds, is definitely stronger than any synergy that we can, you can build early on. Uh, right now we can make an Ionic Spark or a Runan's Hurricane. Uh, let's see. One Space Pirate. And maybe we can... Maybe we can take the Poppy for Vanguards if we manage to find a Leona or a Mordekaiser. Let's see, this guy already has three Star Guardians with two Sorcerers. This guy is going for Cybernetics. Star Guardian, Blade Master. Okay. So we can build a chainmail, we got a Lucian, and we can go for early, yeah, we can, I'm gonna sell him in order to get the item off of him. Let's put in Leona, and give some items to our Lucian, maybe something like a Rage Blade would be good on him. And we can also make him a sword breaker, which I'm not convinced that is the best thing to do. Let's see. So this guy's gonna pull my Lucian. I also knock him up. But the cool thing about Lucian is that he drops ag aggro very quickly because of his dashes. As you can see, uh, the Malphite tried attacking the Lucian, but the Lucian just dashed away and the Malphite decided, oh, okay, I'm just not gonna attack you then. We're gonna take the Zoe for now. I don't think that we're really gonna play her, but just to be safe. Also, we have two Rebels. Maybe we can try going for Rebels this game. And... Another Graves. Maybe for... Blasters. Also, another Leona. Hmm... Let's sell this, take that, level up, put in the graves. So that we have uh, two blasters and give the Lucian... Uh, do I want to give the disarm to Lucian? I'm really not sure that I want to do that. Let's see, so the Blitzcrank is again going to pull my Lucian. So the Ari did not ult him and this is gonna be good for us because I think that we can kill the the Annie. And let's just take the uh, let's take the Rakan. Maybe we can try going for Celestials since I haven't played Celestials 
in this game and protectors for protectors we're gonna need uh, Jarvan I think okay so we did find a Jace maybe we can try going for that early space pirates after all uh, we need 8 gold to level hmm I don't think that we can level up right now and right now we do get cybernetics so let me just uh, space my items accordingly and am I getting the two sonas? yeah let me get her we're gonna sell her next round I think chaos is the preferred state of nature So I think that we've managed to secure a quite powerful team early on. Uh, but it still might not be enough to win this round. I've seen Lucian win better matchups against two units. And I don't know if I've said it already, but Lucian is my favorite character in TFT because of his dashes and his on-target ability and his ability to drop aggro so quickly. This ensures that he will leave most of the rounds till the end of the round and be the last unit standing. Let's see... The thing that we want from the carousel. So the Mordekaiser is gone. Maybe... Maybe we can get the Ari with the recurve bow and try building something with that recurve bow. Ideally, I would have wanted to get uh, the Mordekaiser with the BF sword. So, protectors, seems out. I'm definitely leveling up and putting Jace for Space Pirate. And maybe level 6 we can put in the Mordekaiser as well. I'm selling the Sona so that we get the bonus gold and right now we need to hit two more Lucians, one more Graves, two more Jaces let's see what the other guys are running this guy's going for Blasters with Chrono uh, Sniper with Vanguard the guy that we are currently facing is going for Rebels uh, this guy's going for Vanguard Star Guardian and Brawlers with Chrono, so a lot of guys are going for Chrono. Okay, so we got one gold from the Space Pirates. Maybe if we try and go for an early level 8, get a Gangplank and also a Darius, we can go for 4 Space Pirates. So we did find an upgrade for the Leona. And we also found another protector so right now I need 18 gold to level do I wanna do that in order to ensure my win streak it's gonna hit me in the economy quite significantly so I'm not sure that I wanna do that maybe for now we can just try and uh, try it things like that and hope that we don't lose this round uh, we are facing the other guy with 100 HP who also has a Lucian Slapper Jace boom okay so we did not lose this round after all. And I'm just gonna sell the Sinzao so that we get the bonus code from the interest this round. And let's see what the Terror Busters have for us as far as items go. Let me just reposition my units. Maybe something like that and see so right now we're doing quite well even though uh, four of our five units are level one we have four synergies which kind of makes up for the fact that we don't have any upgrades 
and we're on a nice win streak. We're getting plus three gold for each round right now that we win. Okay, so maybe instead of giving me gold, give me some items. Uh, with this we can make a ZZ portal and another Ari and let me just sell the Rakan so that we get the extra gold. With this we can build a red buff on the Leona which would be quite nice on something like our Lucian. Okay, so we did manage to get the Mordekaiser. And maybe reposition the units again. Something like that. Uh, yeah, something like that. I think would be fine. Or maybe just move them one space to the left so that the Jace doesn't have to go around all of our other units. Instead, he can just go this way and attack from here. Okay, so this guy has snipers with Vanguard. Yeah, I definitely think that we're losing this round. Maybe if we get something on the Lucian with which he could heal, but sadly we don't. Try and yeah, we're gonna level up after next round, and then we can see, we'll see what we get from the carousel, and maybe then we can roll for some upgrades. The Lucian is two cost unit right now. We have 40% chance of rolling one, so maybe I can just take one of the two cost units in hope that next time a two cost unit appears in our shop, it's not Rakan or Xin Zhao, and it's instead Lucian. Okay, so we did win this round, and let me just take one more unit. What we did find is the Vi, which I definitely think is a better unit than the Fiora. And maybe we can give her the Giant's Belt. And with this we can make a Ronan's Hurricane, which I don't really think there is any point of doing. And let me just place the Mordekaiser so that, that we have one more tanky unit in the front. He also will get the Vanguard bonus and maybe if we find another Vanguard we can put him in in order to get the 4 Vanguard bonus. So this guy's gonna pull my Graves. And he also has a Lucian with the Hand of Justice who is a level 2 Lucian. So definitely stronger than our Lucian. Let's see. So ideally I would like to take the Darius so that we are close to that four space pirates thing but the Darius sadly is gone and maybe we can take the Ezreal and go for Bloodthirster on the Lucian. Yeah, we can also take the Mordekaiser and the Leona. If we decide to take the item off of Leona, we're gonna need to rebuild her. Okay, so we got one gold from the Space Pirate so far. Maybe Jace could hit another unit and stop letting other units take his kills. Uh, we still haven't found another Jace, so only one Jace this game. And this is a bit odd since no one else is running Space Pirates. Uh, this is an early Jinx. Hmm. Let's see, can we fit her into our comp? Oh, 
Okay, so my orders. we finally found the Darius, which we still can't put in because we're gonna lose the. Uh, right now we we do have three vanguards, which we don't really need. So maybe we can get rid of the Mordekaiser and put in Darius instead. And I'm also gonna take the Wukong. And what we can do is go for something like Space Pirates with Vanguard, with um, Mordekaiser and Leona, and also Blasters with Grace and Jinx, Dark Star Infiltrators. Let's push level a bit. Uh, or maybe we can get rid of the Leona all together and just play the Wukong. Right now if we get rid of the Vi, we're gonna have four vanguards. Hmm, or maybe just leave Wukong with Chase as our vanguard's frontline and go for Space Pirates. So a lot of gold and not a lot of items. Okay, so right now we can put in the Jinx. And I think of selling the Lucian because I really want to get those items off of him. Uh, let's give her the Rage Blade, also the Bloodthirster, and with that we can make a Giant Slayer. Which I definitely think is worth, and let's put the Graves here so that if anyone has a Blitzcrank he will pull the Graves and not our Jinx. Uh, as far as the Fiora goes, I don't think that we are running her. And also the Rumble can go. So right now we have 1% chance of rolling a 5 cost unit. Uh, next level I think it's something like 5%. Let's see, can my Mordekaiser kill the Caitlyn? Hit her? Uh, we only needed one more hit. Okay, so none of these units I wanna take. Maybe let's roll down a bit. Uh, okay, so we can... Uh, let's go one, two more times. The Graves, I don't really think of leveling up the Graves anymore. And the Vi, let's take the item off of her and give it to someone like maybe Wukong. The next thing that we can do is maybe sell the Leona. So what we need right now is for our Jinx to assist in two kills, so that her ultimate kicks in. And sadly that this didn't happen because of the buy. But I'm quite confident that we're gonna win this round, even though the buy seems quite tanky. Let's roll down a bit. Okay, so we did manage to get the Darius too. Let's put him in. And the only thing that we need right now is a Gangplank. Let's see what the other guys are running. This guy is still going for Chronos with Cybernetics, Star Guardians, Blasters, Vanguard, Blade Masters, Brawlers. Okay, so no one is really going for... Uh, this guy has 6 Rebels, quite nice. No one is really going for Space Pirates, so maybe this game we can do this. 
Uh, the thing that I'm most confused about is no one is going for space pilots, but still we, we don't seem to... We just can't find the uh, Jace. Yeah, we won that round quite decisively. Uh, let's see, maybe we can get a Gangplank from here or a Jace. Uh, the Jace would be quite nice. If we manage to take him. Let's see. So we are last pick, which means that... Okay, so we're not gonna get the chase. Uh, yeah, maybe... Maybe we can take the chain mail, the chain vest. And build a defensive item, maybe something like uh, Guardian Angel on our Jinx. So we found another Darius. My orders. I'm ready. Let, Let me just fall down a bit. I'm gonna enjoy this. So what we need right now is two, uh, four more Dariuses, one more Jays, four more Mordekaisers in order to make the Mordekaiser or the Darius a four, uh, a three star. And who can we give this to? Maybe we can give it to the Leona, so that she's quite tankier. So this is the guy with the blasters, so he has two vanguards, two blasters, and also two snipers. So right now we are swimming in gold from the pirate bonus. We go only from this round, so that we can get the uh, four space pirates, and for each kill that one of our space pirates makes, we will have 15% chance of getting one component item. Let's see what we get from the Arc Raptors. Oh, so we found two Jaces in one round. Another Darius and also a Gangplank. So right now we do have Blasters with... Yeah, I think that we're in a great spot right now. Four Space Pirates. Let's see if it's worth the gold that we've invested so far. What we can build with that is... Um, we can build a trap claw or a red buff on someone. Ideally... We would get a sword from the carousel so that we can build a guardian angel on someone. So this guy just destroyed us. Just try and stop. I think that we can just roll down a bit in search of some upgrades. Okay, so I think that we can stop right now, before we tank our economy too much. Uh, what we need is three more of those guys and four more of Leona and Wukong in order to make them three stars. But the most significant upgrade that we managed to do right at this round is for our Jinx. Ok, 
Okay. So maybe we can spread our team a bit so that we are not so vulnerable to... Let's put him here. And the Darius maybe here. Are there any Blitzcrank players? So this guy has a Blitzcrank. Also this guy. So maybe putting the Jinx here is really not ideal. Maybe what we can do is put the Gangplank and the Graves on either side of the Jinx. So that if anything happens, they are the ones that get pulled, not our Jinx. Let's see what we get from the carousel. I'm really hoping for... Mm, let's see what we get. So... The Gangplank would be a, a nice addition to our team. Uh, then we would only need to find one more. Let's see if we manage to take him. Okay. Okay, so we did manage to find the uh, Gangplank. And maybe we can put him next to the Jinx, so that he doesn't get killed. Uh, we need... Maybe we can get rid of the Leona and the Wukong. I don't think that we can manage to 3-star all of our units, so maybe let's just focus on those three. So what we need right now is for the Gangplank to ult. And for my units to start attacking the Lucian before he kills them all. Okay, and we also got one gold from this round. Uh, I'm gonna save up some money, uh, after the cane we can uh, start rolling down uh, again and look for two Mordekaisers, two Dariuses or three Jaces. Let's see, uh, we got this guy still standing, also this guy who has I think Mystic with Sorcerers and Star Guardians. Uh, so we have this guy who is running two mercenaries and uh, six rebels, I think. And this guy is running six cybernetics, interesting. Okay, so we definitely got low that round. Let's see what we get from Kane, and after that we will roll all of our gold in search of some key units. So we get Zeke's Herald. Let's see what the other guys are getting. This guy is getting a Guardian Angel, a Celestial, a Titan's Resolve, and a Chalice. So definitely the guy with the Guardian Angel is getting the best item. Uh, Zix is Herald, probably not the best thing that can happen to us right now, but maybe we can give it to our backline so that they attack faster. Okay. 18% attack speed. Let me just start rolling down in search of the units that we need. Dead men tell my okay, so we did manage to. Uh, I'm gonna give him the upgrade. And also, let's give this to him and maybe yeah let's see if we survive this round
so what we need is for Jinx to go to time so that she gets her rockets. Okay, so we got 3 gold from this round. I definitely think that the upgrade for the Gangsplank Ultimate, 2 strikes, is the best thing that could have happened to us. And let's uh, let's use our items. We can give a Infinity Edge to the Darius, so that he deals more damage. And maybe put him somewhere in the front. And we can also make a red buff on someone. Let's just make it on the Grave since he is a blaster and put him in somewhere here. Yeah, I think that something like that works for now. The Jace will apply the red buff to multiple targets and reduce their healing. Okay, so we got a sh shitload of gold from this round. Gangplank killed, I think, two units with his ultimate, and also Darius dunked two or three guys. Okay, we need one more Jace to all the units he hits, and he hits almost the whole area. Since we got him this upgrade for his ultimate. And yeah, I think that this is the end of the game. So, my verdict. Uh, four space pirates, maybe not the ideal thing for each game. Uh, we definitely need better items to itemize the four pirates. But I definitely think that it was a fun game. So if you think that as well, uh, give the video a like, uh, subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Bye.